Oh, hi everyone, and thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim here at Digital Llama, and today we're going to be covering what's uh, being referred to around the internet as the EDH tag. Basically, it's some of my favorite cards in a nice handy list. Before we get started, if you want to see more fun casual magic every Thursday and Sunday, please take a second to hit those subscribe and thumbs up buttons. Also, please check out the channel's sponsor, Arcane Cards. They stock MTG singles, plenty of sealed product, and have great shipping. You can find the link to the shop down in the description, as well as a code to get 10% off your first order. With that said, let's get going. So the EDH tag is a concept that's been swirling around the internet for a little while now. Started off by an Instagrammer named Maddie as one of those photo a day challenges, it's now been co-opted by the YouTube creator community and I thought I'd share my two cents. My first commander was Mael the Anima. I started my EDH journey around the time the 2013 decks were released and Mail was one of the oversized shiny legendaries from it. My favourite artefact is a tough one. I could pick Soul Ring, but I'm going to go with a very old artefact from when I first started playing, Dingus Egg. Land destruction has since become a frowned upon strategy in many players eyes, but back in the day strip mines and stone rains paired with the egg was my jam. My favourite enchantment brings us a bit more up to date. Mechanised production from Kaladesh block is an artefact loving alternative win condition. With so many ways to trigger it in commander, servos, treasure, mirrors, the list goes on. My favourite instant is the good old lightning helix. I couldn't have a favourite cards list without some boros in here. Burn, life gain, super cheap, this spell is awesome. My favourite sorcery is Insurrection, absolutely brutal in a big EDH game, just taking everyone's things and swinging in is a total joy. My favourite creature is a very personal choice, it's the Prodigal Sorcerer, also known as a Tim. I've had so much fun building decks to include my namesake over the years, from Pauper Thermo Alchemist recently, to my Death Pits of Wrath Pingers deck growing up. My number one pet card is such a tough choice. I was going to say Besmirch, but we've already had Insurrection, so I'm going to go with Authority of the Consoles. Lockdown and Life Gain on a wonderful turn one enchantment is nothing to be sniffed at. My favourite magic artist has to be Rebecca Gay. She's created so many beautiful works over the years, from Channel to Enchanted Evening, and more recently the incredible Showdown Lands. What do I hate to pull when opening packs? Colossal Dreadmoor. This dude is seriously everywhere. My favourite planeswalker for many years was Ajani Vengeance. Shards of Alara was such a fun block to be playing during, but my new favourite planeswalker carries on the Boros Torch. Nahiri the Harbinger is awesome. Looting, exiling and ultimately scouring your deck for that finisher is just too good and you get to recast it again for double ETB triggers. My favourite card art is another relatively recent choice. For years it had been Gay or Nielsen but for now it is Scott M. Fisher and his stunning Walker of Secret Ways. Part anime, part traditional, all mixed up in a collage like work of art. So my favourite land is one of the toughest choices on the list. Command Tower, Plateau, Strip Mine all come close, but I have to say Cavern of Souls is my current favourite. If only it wasn't so expensive, I'd have one in all my tribal decks, but it's still waiting for another reprint. The penultimate favourite is my favourite archetype, and I'm going to call Tribal an archetype here, surprise surprise. I guess you could call it aggro, but that would be doing tribal decks a disservice. Take for instance my Tishana deck, it's actually a merfolk tribal stasis lockdown deck. I just really enjoy the synergies matching creature types can give you. And finally we come to my favourite commander, Sliver Overlord. 
Slivers have long been a favourite tribe of mine from way back in Tempest at their debut right through to this very day. There's something to be said for when you reveal your commander and your opponent's face drops. An army of creatures, each giving each other perks, is a thing of beauty, not to mention the shenanigans you can get up to in a five colour deck. So I guess I need to tag a few people to carry on the chain, and I'm excited to see what answers they give. First up is my dude Eric over at Man Cave TV. I'm also calling on fellow Brit Cardboard Badger. Show me what you got. And there you have it, 14 of my favourite magic cards. Let me know down in the comments what some of yours are. If you haven't already, please remember to share this video wherever you hang out, be it Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe and then head over to Arcane Cards for your MTG singles. Thanks so much for watching, catch you all on the next one. Cheers!